as you guys know, um, we haven't been allowed outside because uh, Boris. <laughs> That's what he said. He came on the TV, didn't he? And he went, um, no one's allowed outside. And I just went, nah. <laughs> I ain't listening to him, because look how he looks. <laughs> He's got that hair, cheap suit, all that kind of thing like that. Like, if he was your boss at work, would you listen to him? <laughs> this is the prime minister of the country. And he went, no one's allowed outside. I was like, nah. <laughs> he didn't say Simon Says. So <laughs> I just... Went outside and I needed to go outside, you know, because I need this. There was no stage. So I needed to go to a place that I knew there was people. And where the people congregate, bus stops, isn't it? So I went to bus stops. <laughs> I said, I'll tell my jokes there. There's a crowd. It's nice. And the best thing, I knew how much minutes I had. I, like, <laughs> I got five minutes to tell him about the Tiger King. Like, I don't know. <laughs> but my favorite one, of the MPs was the little Indian man. He came on the TV, right? And um, I know it's a bit contentious when I said little Indian man, because it's a bit tense now, isn't it? Because you're not sure <laughs> where I'm going with it. But <laughs> I can tell you it's a place of love. That's what it is. He was my favorite. You know why? Because he gave me money. <laughs> Every month, like, he just gave me money, like a couple more grand. I was like, thanks very much, Rushi. Love you, right? <laughs> I used to clap him when he used to come on the TV like the NHS. I love this man. <laughs> But he came on the TV one day and it struck my soul. He said, I ain't got no more, innit? <laughs> got no more money. Like, my pockets are empty. And, like, some of you look out there have to retrain. <laughs> and that hit me hard. I was like, what do you mean, retrain? Do you, know, do you know how long I've been doing this? I've been doing this for 16 years and he's telling me I've got to retrain. I've been to Doncaster. <laughs> Luckily, you know, you've got friends that pick you up at this point. My boy was like, hmm. Like, what did you do at uni? I said, I did art. <laughs> you did art? <laughs> Why do you choose art? I said, I was good at colouring in, innit? So, <laughs> I just wanted to see how far that would take me, right? And I did it in a place called Central St. Martins. Oh, yeah, I always get that noise. <laughs> always get that noise. Because it is, it's a prestigious art school, right? It's one of the best art schools in the world, but it's also one of the most patronizing places <laughs> I've ever been in in my whole entire life. Right? I'll tell you why, it was the tutors. Like, the tutors, like, to describe them to you, they're kind of like white, middle class, you know, like Guardian reading, you know, like the fair trade coffee drinking, you know, like 70% of people in this audience. <laughs> <laughs> like right now, but wankers though, like wankers. <laughs> and they didn't mean to be. <laughs> but I don't want to patronize you like they did to me <laughs> in this place. They said, okay, you know, Marlon, you come in here and you inspire me with your work, but I want to know what inspires you. Do you, do you go to galleries? It's like, no. You don't go to galleries? Oh my God, everyone, stop whatever you're doing right now. Marlon has never been to a gallery. We're going to go to the gallery right now. Everyone, stop it. The only thing he's seen is graffiti on walls. We need to go. <laughs> we need to go right now, right? And I went to the art gallery, and it might be like some of you guys, when you walk in there, you know, you see stuff, and you're like, wow. <laughs> That looks like what it's supposed to be. <laughs> uh, they done the colouring in. <laughs> they stayed within the lines. This person's very talented, I like this. And then you walk around the corner, then you got a, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Every art gallery you go to, innit? it's like, what the hell is going on in here? Like, we was in the tape, we was in the tape. I'll tell you what I saw in the tape. I saw a mattress. A dirty, stained, soiled, smelly mattress. And it was lined up against the wall. And they said, this is art. <laughs> this is postmodern. This is art. I said, that is not art. That is fly tipping. <laughs> it is. It's only because we're in here right now that we view that as art. <coughs> it's bullshit. <laughs> it is. All it is is shape and space. Perception, it's bullshit. <laughs> like you check where we are right now, right? 
We're at Comedy Central Live. This is where we are right now. We're having a great time, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, yeah but if any of you guys saw me tomorrow at a bus stop... <laughs> ..with no microphone... You'd be like, that's a nutter, isn't it? That's... <laughs> a nut case. Yes. 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 That's what it is. I just, just, just love it up. But, like, um, I've enjoyed it, and I hope to see you again soon. I'll be Marlon. Cheers. <laughs>